Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 3, where we finish modeling. Let's make the sword. Add a cube, position, and scale it to be the blade. Grab the top and move it to where the blade is the thickest. Scale to match, add an edge loop down the middle. In front view, scale and position the top. My references aren't lined up perfectly, but it's fine. Add three edge loops with Control R and scrolling the mouse wheel. Add two more edge loops here where the fuller is. Select the groups of three vertices along the sides and merge them onto the center vertex. Select these two edge loops and scale them along the Y axis. Move these middle six vertices down to the top of the fuller. Select these four and move them down. Alt select these loops and double tap G to edge slide them to about the halfway point. Select and extrude all the upper vertices, make sure proportional is off, and move them up on the Z axis. Select these three vertices, select the middle one last, merge with M at last or center. Do the same with the other side. Delete these inner five vertices, select these outer vertices, and scale them on the X axis. Turn this face into two by selecting these two vertices and hitting J. Do the same with the other three faces. Select these two vertices, Move them up on the Z axis to the point of the sword. Scale by zero on the X axis. Select these four vertices, scale them on the X axis and move them up a bit. Select these two vertices and scale them on the Y axis. Select these three vertices and scale them by zero on the Z axis. And the same on the other side. Select and move these up. In side view, scale each group of three by zero on the Y axis. Match them to the reference on the Y axis. Fill in these openings with two faces. Select these two vertices and hit J. Do that on both sides. Select and dissolve these edges if you want. And do any other fine tuning. Select these vertices and scale them to get the fuller to match. Add edge loop here. Click once, hit E and then F, and make the edge loop flat like the bottom edge. Add two more edge loops. Divide these faces with J. Select and delete the five inner vertices on the bottom. Select these four vertices on each side and scale them on the Y axis. With these selected, hit Ctrl B to bevel and drag your mouse to add some flat interfaces. Grab these upper vertices and move them up. Scale them so that they're more or less flat with these. Split these faces with J like this. And that's the blade. Add a cube, scale it down to make it part of the guard. Add some edge loops around here. Delete the middle edge loop. Merge these vertices at the center. Connect these two with J on the top and bottom. Now for the rest of the guard. Add a cube, scale it down. Add an edge loop in the middle. Add a few more on each side. Select all of this object by selecting one part of it, hitting Ctrl L, separate it with P by selection. Set the origin to geometry. Delete one half and mirror it. Turn on clipping. Extrude out this face, Position, rotate, and scale it. Add edge loops and position them. Add some horizontal edge loops along the side. Select these 12 vertices, and with proportional editing on, scale on the Y axis. Select all these upper faces and inset with I. If you hit B, that'll merge your inset along the mirror line. Add several edge loops. Pull down this loop. Add a mirror modifier. Grab these vertices and pull them up to the mirror line. Delete this extra middle face. Smooth it all out. Apply the mirror modifier, add a 12 vertex circle, position and scale. Extrude down to make the hilt grip. Add an edge loop, select these edge loops, scale them on the Y and X axis, extrude this upper loop into the guard. Extrude and scale the bottom loop. Add an edge loop and extrude and scale one at the bottom. Select this lower edge loop, hit Shift S, move cursor to selected, add a six sided circle. Rotate it by 30 degrees on the Z axis. Extrude down, select and bevel these edges. Scale the bottom vertices by zero. Select the upper edge, extrude and scale a tiny bit. My reference has a pointy pommel, but the image I'm looking at and my final model has a round gem, so oops. Shade smooth and name these objects. Time for the shield. Add a cube, position it. Add an edge loop, delete half and mirror it. Scale down. Enable clipping and use edge loops to roughly shape this like a shield. 
pull back the outer edges to match the reference. You could also use a simple deform modifier to accomplish this curve. Move the middle forward and get this part at about the halfway point. In object mode, add a plane, rotate and scale it down, enable snapping to faces, add a mirror modifier. Enable clipping, enable project individual elements, and disable project onto self. Extrude and position faces as you go. Add some edge loops, and sometimes you'll have to extrude out an individual vertex and use that to make faces. Just position things with the reference. Disable snapping and match these new faces to the reference as best you can. To build the shield border's inner faces, with snapping on, extrude these vertices and snap them to the object guide. Connect all of these vertices into faces. Feel free to manually position anything that doesn't look right. The shield guide is too low res to be perfect. Alt select this edge loop and fill it in with one big face. Using the knife tool in J, divide this big n-gon into faces that will deform nicely into our final rounded shield shape. As you go, edge slide vertices around to smooth out the faces. I want to get as many quads as possible in here, so people will think I know what I'm doing. Re-enable the shield guide and add a subdivision modifier. Turn up the viewport display to 2. Position the guide where the inner shield detail is. Set origin to geometry if it's too far away to comfortably rotate as needed. Enable snapping and select all these vertices. Grab them to snap them to the shield guide. And smooth it all out to your liking. Add an edge loop. Subdivide this edge, add in an edge loop here. Do some edge dissolving and adding with J as needed. Move things by edge sliding. Select these edges. In the side end menu, change the edge bevel weight to 1. Add a bevel modifier and select weight as the limit method. Change the offset to 0.001 and give it three segments. Bevel these edges as well. Shade smooth. Change this outer edge to one bevel weight as well. Alt select this loop and extrude it back. It's hard to see what's going on, so invert your selection with Ctrl I and hide it with H. Extrude this outer loop and scale it. Match the curve on the top reference. Select this loop and fill it in with one big face. Divide vertically by connecting with J. Select this edge, hit F3 and search for subdivide. Give it 10 cuts. Connect with J like so. Cut as needed with K. Select these faces, extrude and move them forward. Line this edge loop up with the bar on his shield. Select these edges and set the bevel to 1. If you want to limit your geometry use, instead of a bevel, mark all these blue edges as sharp and use an edge split modifier. Set all these angled edges to one bevel weight. And there's the main anti-pokey stick shape. Add a circle with 8 vertices, position and scale, extrude, and fill in the opening with faces. Select one of these circles and duplicate it with Shift D, scale it down, extrude it out. Select the bottom vertex, set your cursor to active with Shift S. Select this entire edge loop. Extrude and rotate by 45 degrees, extrude and rotate again. Extrude down. Set cursor to this vertex, extrude and rotate twice, extrude out. Select this upper handle, then select all with Ctrl L, duplicate and pull down. 
Select all, position, scale, and drag stuff around to match the reference. Add a UV sphere, 12 and 12. Scale and rotate by 90 degrees in right view. Delete these back vertices. Rotate by 20 degrees, use the spin tool. Set the steps to six, set the axis to Y and the angle to 360 degrees. Check use duplicates. Move these into position on the shield. Now let's add the Triforce. Add a plane. Select all and merge at center into one vertex. Position it at the point of the Triforce. Extrude down and over. Select this edge and search for subdivide under the F3 menu. Unhide with Alt-H. Select all these new vertices and extrude them into the shield. Shape everything and fill in all the triangles. Do the same on the back triangle and fill in the sides with faces. Inset these triangle fronts and move them forward. On this triangle, inset with I and hit B to merge it along the mirror line. Select all and shade smooth. Name all your stuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Next time, we begin the texturing and finish the texturing. See you then. Love you all, goodbye.